Hey, it's Ulish and Liza, and today we're going to make Flappy Bird. Bird. If you haven't played with hopscotch before, try out Breakdance or Treasure Dive videos before you tackle this one, just to get a sense of what you're doing. But for everyone else, let's get started. Let's pick our character. We're going to pick Bird, but you can pick whoever you want. As you look for Bird, she might be hiding behind your video, so tap Hide on the video to get it out of the way. Yeah, and you can pick any character. This is just the one we're going to pick. But. So now, our flapper is going to have three rules. The first rule is that when you tap on the iPad, she's going to jump up. She's going to flap up. The second is that when you don't tap the iPad, she's naturally just going to fall. And the third rule is that when she bumps into the pipes, she will disappear and the game will end. So let's start by making the falling rule. Add a new rule and pick when the play button is tapped. And the first thing we're going to do is create an ability that's going to save all of the code for falling. So tap on the plus symbol next to my abilities and name this new ability fall. So drag out your ability into your editor and tap on the little gray pencil to open it up. Now we want bird to fall all the time. So for that, we're going to use a blue block at the bottom of your menu in the control flow section called repeat forever. Drag that out and put it inside of the fall ability. Now when we want her to fall, we use the block change Y, which makes things move up and down. So tap on the red movement section and drag a change Y by block inside of your repeat forever. Now if all we did was put one number, like five here, into this, then that would mean that Every time this repeat forever loop goes by, she's going to fall down five. So she'll do a five, she'll go down five, she'll go down five, she'll go down five. If we made a 20, she'd go down 20, she'd go down 20, it would look faster. But what we really want is for her to start falling slowly and then start going faster. The same way we do when we fall towards the earth because of gravity. So she's going to accelerate downwards. The way we change the speed of her fall as she goes is by using a thing called values. And values are just numbers that we can change during the game. And that's exactly what we want to do. We want to change how much she's moving so it looks like she's moving faster. So tap on values next to calculator. And the, at the bottom, tap on plus new value to create a new value. And let's call it bird up down. So this just means the distance the bird will go up or down at any given time. And we're going to drag that into change Y by. Press check. So in order for us to actually make it look like she is falling faster as she goes, we have to do what Elise just described of increasing the amount she falls every time. Because right now, we're just changing by a set constant number inside that value. So there's a block in values. Which is yellow. So drag out an increase value block and put it below the change Y by block. And tap on bird up down to fill the first bubble. And in the second bubble, add negative 4. So the negative that is that minus right under 7. And then negative 4, press check. So now the bird is going to fall first 0, then negative 4, then negative 8, then negative 12. And it's going to look like she's falling faster and faster towards the ground. And this is how Flappy Bird looks when you play it on your iPhone. And it's how we look when we fall. And it looks much better than if you were just falling at a constant rate. And now you've made gravity, which is really impressive. This is your first physics engine. Good job. So let's make this all happen a little bit faster in general by using the set speed block. And you can find that in the red movement menu. And drag that out and put it inside the fall block, but above repeat forever. And we're going to set her speed to a thousand. And then one other thing, just to get a little fancy, is drag out a turn by block, which is red. And we're going to put it at the very bottom of the code under increase value, but inside repeat forever. And we're going to have her turn by negative one degrees. And this will just make her do a little flourish as she turns. Yeah, as, she, as falls. she falls, like in any Flappy game, she's just kind of turning a little bit. Cool. Let's see what it looks like. Tap play. Great. Amazing. So Somebody cool. Somebody needs to help her get back up. That's a good idea. Let's go back to edit and see if we can help. So you're back in edit, and now we need to give her that second rule, which is to flap. So X out of here. 
and let's add a new rule. And this rule will happen when we tap the iPad, so pick when iPad is tapped. And we're going to add a new ability and we're going to call it Flap. So let's name it Flap. F-L-A-P, great. Drag that out, like last time, tap on that gray plus button, or the gray pencil button, and that'll open up your ability, and this is where we're going to put all our code. So what we're going to do with this rule is, when we tap on the iPad, we want bird to jump up. So remember that value bird up down? We're going to use that here. And what we're going to do is set it to 20, so all of a sudden, she could be falling, but when you tap the iPad, it's going to pull her all the way back up to 20. Yeah, so it's like she was falling, negative 4, negative 8, negative 12, negative 16. All of a sudden, anytime you tap the iPad, she's going up 20. And then she'll start back at 0, and then negative 4, negative 12, I mean negative 4, negative 8, negative 12. So to do that, we use set value, which is yellow. So go to the yellow values tab, pull out set value, put it in there, pick bird up down, and set it to 20. Make sure set value is inside the flap ability. And one last um, block is because we had her turning as she fell, when she jumps we're going to get her to stand straight again. And all you need for that is one block, which is called set angle, which is red. Pull that under your yellow block and set that to zero. So that means she's perfectly straight and hopefully won't fall over again. Let's see what that looks like. So she's falling, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so now let's add some obstacles because right now we just kind of made a trampoline for a bird. So we're gonna add some pipes. So get out of the editor and we're gonna tap on the plus symbol next to play to get a new object and let's get out a text object. We're gonna call it pipes to help keep ourselves organized. And now add a new rule to the pipes and tap when the play button is tapped. Okay, so we're gonna turn these into pipes. So go down to the green tab and choose more and then set text and drag that out and tap on the little keyboard icon underneath the numbers. In order to make the pipes the way we're making them, you're gonna need emoji. So if you don't have them, you need to go to your iPad settings and then go to general and then keyboard and then keyboards, and then add a new keyboard, and then find emoji, which is between Dutch and Estonian. So if you don't have emoji yet, pause the video and get them. It shouldn't take you more than a minute. Okay, now that you have emoji and we're in the set text block, go to the keyboard under the numbers. So tap on the smiley face or globe to get to your, your emojis and go all the way over to the right. All the way to the button tab, which is right to the left of space and scroll through until you see what we see right here with the little green squares on the right and then type in four green squares then five spaces so when you space you might see that little black dot just get rid of that by backspacing and then do it again one two three four five and then four more green squares cool perfect let's see what that looks like press play Okay, I think we're close. We're Definitely doing. getting pipe-like. So let's make it a little bit bigger though. So grab a set size block and put it below set text. And we're gonna set size to 350. Great, so it's bigger, but it's still lying flat on the ground and we want it to stand up straight, right? So to do that, we're gonna have to use a red block, which is movement, and we're gonna have to find set angle which we already used to set bird straight after she's falling. Yeah, and then we're going to set that to 90. So now check out of here. And the last thing we're going to do is set speed. So drag out a set speed block and put it at the very bottom of your code and set it to 300. So everything by default is 400 and we're just making it a little bit slower because 400 might be a little hard. Great, so now let's get these pipes to start on the right side of the screen and then move to the left side of the screen. So to get them to start on the right side of the screen, we're gonna use a set position block. So that's a red block, and you pull that out, and for the X coordinate, which means how far left or right on the screen it is, type in 1000. And this will make it start all the way on the very far right of the iPad. And then for the height, which is Y, we're gonna make it 
vary the way that the pipes vary in the Flappy Bird game. So it's going to be high sometimes, low sometimes, and the way we do that is by using random. So tap on random, and then iPad will pick any number between 200. So type in 200. And then in the other bubble, type in 600. Then we need to move these pipes from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen. So let's check. And then drag out a change X by block and put it under set position. And to get the pipes to move across to the left, we're going to move in a negative direction. So type in negative 1000. Cool. And finally, we want this whole thing to repeat forever. So to do that, let's check out of here. To repeat, we're going to use the blue blocks, which is control flow. And we're going to pull out a repeat forever block. And inside it, we're going to put all the blocks that we need to use multiple times. So these two. So make sure you drag your set position and your check x by block inside the repeat forever block in this order with set position on top. Now let's see what it looks like. Whoa, we made some pipes. Cool. This is definitely super awesome. Okay, but how come we're crashing into them and nothing is happening? I mm. think we should probably fix that. Okay. Okay, so let's fix this. Pause here if you think you have an idea of how to make Bird disappear when she hits the pipes. Mm -hmm. And for everyone else, let's continue. So tap on edit and then tap on Bird. And let's give her a new rule. And we're going to scroll down, so tap on more. And then find when bumps. So when bird, tap on bird. And then tap on the second bubble when bird bumps into pipes. And then check on that. And so every time we, she bumps into a pipe, we're going to want her to set invisibility. So scroll down to the green tab and drag out a set invisibility block. And for, in order for her to disappear, we're going to set it to 100. So set invisibility, if you make that 0, then she will be 0% invisible. And if you make it 100, she will be 100% invisible or very invisible. So this is what we want. And let's see what that looks like. Do you want to play? Let's do it. Go, Liza. Oh, I think I already lost. Oh, so when the project starts, maybe make sure the pipes don't touch bird immediately. So let's move them down here. Okay. Oh, we made it. We survived. Okay. Oops. Oh. All right, she got one. Let's see how more. All right, let's go. Bird flies so elegantly. So you could take this and you could add a background or you could add a score. You can change your character into an emoji using set text. There are many ways you can continue on from here, and you should play with a friend and see if you, they can beat your score. Yeah, you can make it faster, harder, everything. Okay, cool. Hope you had fun, and now go play some Flappy Bird. Go play some Flappy Bird. Bye.